good times in the Apple Bay Black with all these individuals. I look forward to tomorrow. I've actually seen promo work right in front of me on ice. Really? Yeah. Because like you go and you go and do all that stuff, and you, you see the reaction like a couple of weeks later. But we were live on TV in, in Australia on the, Today, on the Today Show, and the song went from number th five or something to number one. Wow, that's cool. <coughs> it was the first time I'd actually seen it. It felt more rewarding being there. I love it here. Country like it. And people are so different to country man. Yeah. The food's phenomenal. Yeah. So this is for you? We turn on some lights here. How do you um get the old AC off? Oh here we go. Jeez, it's hard never now, isn't it? What goes on here? Another battery. Oh! Can't wait for tonight. <laughs> Dear Mr. Night Horn, Universal Music. Welcome to Japan. We hope your stay will be a memorable one. Oranges, loads of different fruits, avocado, peach, big bad boy, and loads of foam. Brought <laughs> <laughs> that brand new. Oh, on. I want that to drown. I won't be using that till later. This should not be fun. <laughs> So you need one of those little um, jump squats, plank a minute, five minutes in your cross trainer. It's probably a bad idea going from a nine hour flight to straight to the gym. Where are you going, Jerry? My legs are going to be sore tomorrow. Played football the other day. It's, in the, it's way of this thing in the family where it's like, it's like a joint deficiency, so I have got two crap knees, got two crap shoulders. My uncle's had both of his knees done. My uh, father's got his hip done, my uncle's had his hip done. We've got a bit of a history of terrible joints. How many times a week are you working out at the minute? I try and do six days a week. It's hard because you have to go drink as well. So I try and do some days of that. I know. Some of it's like, I'll do like an hour on the cross trainer one day. And I'll do a session like this. So much time to just chill out, you know. So mm. it's nice to have something to do in the evening if if I can't get out of the hotel for whatever reason. I'll try and come down here. Like Mark Jarvis. Truly windy. Is it? But uh, it's not. The airport was crazy, huh? That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen anything like that in years. Is that right? We used to do that when we first came. Yeah, yeah. And it was as crazy, but like, you know, when we first came to Japan. Yeah. It was, it was like that, but like, I wasn't, like, I wasn't expecting it to be like that for me. It was like nearly 2,000, like, I guess like 2,000 or something people there. Bloody hell. That's what it felt like, right? Yeah. It felt like a lot. And also, it went from like zero to a hundred really fast. Mm. In terms of screams and things. Like. Crazy. Good, good fun though. Bye bye. 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 B
Cheers. Tampai. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Slange. 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 Yeah, Slange. What is that? Slange. 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 That's what I said. You said Slange. There we go. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Okay. Thank you. I just got to my first interview like this and really freaked the Japanese out. <laughs> you reckon this has made a difference in five minutes or ten minutes? Yeah. And if we do it for a few days, it'll make a massive difference. I'm going to look so far, but I'm going to go home with skin like an angel. <laughs> We've always had a lot of fun here. Somewhere that um, we spent quite a bit of time and had some of our our favourite shows that we've ever done here. Also, the food is incredible. There is no other country that I've ever been to that is like Japan, and I love that about it. And the, the people are there's a there's a respect that people have for other people in this country that doesn't happen anywhere else. Um, talk us about the new single Slow Hands. So, uh, what was the concept for this? Um, just musically, it was kind of musically, it was based off like an, an early eighties uh, rock, funk rock kind of vibe, and then lyrically, it was just kind of a bit of a, a fun one to write. Never really overthought it. It was just a, a fun, a fun way of writing. <laughs>